At 17, Annabelle has taken life seriously but in a rebellious way. An only daughter of a senator, Annabelle got expelled from two schools because of her rebellious character and for being an openly lesbian. Someone will be out shortly to get you. Her mother sent her to an all-girls Catholic boarding school in hope for a change. As she awaits for someone to show her around, she made friends that immediately knew her as the only daughter of a senator. Oh my god, your mother, Senator Tillman. <laughs> that is so cool. Simone, being one of the teachers, cares so much for students. This is why she's the one who, who assisted Annabelle as to what are the school rules. She even told Annabelle to not wear her nose piercing and other staff that violates the school. But Annabelle didn't listen and since she is an openly lesbian, she instead got an eye for Simone. Good luck. Annabelle still having a hard time fitting into her new school, but her new friends who are her roommates as well made her feel comfortable and tries to talk to her. Simone started reading a poem and asked the class what it means to them. Since Annabelle is interested on in Simone, she is trying to engage by answering Simone's questions. Annabelle gave a deep answer that made Simone listen to her attentively. Annabelle. Because through love, we feel the intensity of our connection to everything and everyone. And at the core, we're all the same. We're all one. Simone meets up with her boyfriend who has been longing to marry her, but Simone keeps telling him that she isn't ready and she doesn't want to leave the school just yet. As the class goes on, Annabelle is feeling attracted to Simone. A discussion made Simone uncomfortable on how Annabelle gave her answer, and after the class, Simone talks to Annabelle and tells her she doesn't like what Annabelle is doing. I respect my students, and I encourage you all to have your own opinions. But? But I can't help thinking that you're trying to get a rise out of me. And why would I want to do that? Perhaps to get attention? Or perhaps I'm intrigued. Intrigued by what? By you. But this only gave Annabelle the chance to know Simone more. She even tries to flirt with her and Simone felt uncomfortable. Annabelle and her roommates got the chance to hang out and had few drinks. This paved the way for Annabelle to tell her new friends that she is indeed lesbian. I've never had sex with another woman. Wow. Finally, a lesbian. I was worried we were never going to have one after Michelle Peters graduated. Simone found them and quickly the others left. And Simone talks to Annabelle about her behavior and the head teacher wants her to not wear the Buddhist prayer beads. Anything else you want me to do? The Buddhist prayer beads? No. I'm okay about the nose ring, but these stay with me. Annabelle didn't like it since that's her belief and she is not even Catholic. To try to start fitting in here. How can I fit in? I'm not even Catholic. Buddhist prayer beads. I told you I'm not taking them off. Annabel was punished by letting her wear a big rosary. Simone finally asked the headmistress that she can't handle Annabel's behavior, and she wants Annabel to be transferred to another class. Simone tries to talk to Annabel again regarding the beads, but she's just so stubborn and didn't follow them. If Mother Immaculata told you to take this cross off, would you? Annabelle made Simone remember someone from her past, the woman she loved. Simone never talked about her preference, but she knows deep within her that she is a lesbian, but afraid to come out. Simone gave Annabelle a book and tells her to try reading it, and it might help her cope with whatever Annabelle is feeling. Maybe you could carry them in your pocket. Or hide them in your bag where no one can see them. Annabelle thanks Simone for giving her the book and finally she removes the Buddhist prayer beads. Hi. I just wanted to say thanks again for the book. 
You're welcome. Thanks for taking off the beads. They started to have deep conversation about life and Annabelle asked Simone, who's the girl on the photos? You seem really close. Simone begins to share about her life and said sh that she loves to take photos. And Annabelle compliments her and tells her to be a photographer instead. Simone fears to come out and still tries to be strict but whenever she is with her boyfriend, she is beginning to feel uncomfortable. Annabelle begins to feel attracted to Simone and even sends her flowers during class. Annabelle checks on Simone during that night and since she somehow feels Simone is gay, she tries to kiss her but Simone resisted. Don't. After that night, Simone started to feel sexually attracted to Annabelle but she tries to control it since she was trying to be in straight but it only let her realize what she really wanted. Simone is now avoiding Annabelle and this made Annabelle upset. During a school break, Annabelle tells Simone if they can go somewhere and they went to her house along the beach. My parents gave it to me when I graduated. That was nice of them. This made the two even closer. Annabelle finds a letter from the girl in Simone's photo. And finally, Annabelle knew that Simone is a lesbian and that girl left Simone. Wait, I want to talk to you. You had no right to read that letter. Annabelle tells Simone she won't leave her and she won't go anywhere. Where do you go? Annabelle, I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go. <laughs> Annabelle starts to fall in love with Simone, but Simone tries to control her feelings. She is afraid to come out and get hurt again. Annabelle wants to stay with Simone for the night but hesitates to knock on her door. A movie night for the school gave Annabelle the chance to be closer to Simone and tries to hold her hand. Simone tells her boyfriend that she can't be with him and she doesn't want to marry him. Simone has been avoiding Annabelle and this really made her upset. Why won't you talk to me? You haven't said a word to me in over two weeks. I can't do this. We're not doing anything wrong. Even more, during the school's evening dance, Annabelle saw Simone with her ex-boyfriend dancing, and this made Annabelle furious. She goes on to sing her composition, and it seems the message is for Simone. Your curtains will go. Simone finally gave in and the two shared a passionate kiss and an intimate night together. The next day, Annabelle and Simone are nowhere to be found and someone tells the headmistress to check on Simone's room. The headmistress found Simone and Annabelle getting dressed. Simone went with the police for questioning. As time went by, no charges for Simone for the scandal and Annabelle went back to see Simone in her house along the beach. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.